Hey guys, welcome to my channel Nita's Glam World and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me. So today I'm going to share with you this beautiful Garwa makeup and I created this look using some products from my last haul video and this is a purple halo eyes with nude lips and it's perfect for Garwa. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm using this Nivea moisturizing cream to moisturize my face and neck. Moisturizing your face before any makeup is really essential so you should never ever skip your moisturizer. Now I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I'm just going to carve out my eyebrows. I have done my eyebrows off camera. If you want to know my eyebrow routine, I will link that down in the description bar below. So please check that out. This step makes a huge difference in your makeup routine. Now I'm just blending everything out with my fingers. Now I'm using this e.l.f. poreless primer and I'm just applying it on my face and neck and I'm just spreading everything out with my fingers. Now I'm just quickly moisturizing my lips. Now I'm using this LA Girl color corrector in the shade yellow and orange. I have mixed them together and I'm just applying it under my eyes, on my eyelids, around my mouth and wherever I have pigmentation and acne spot. Now I'm just blending everything out with my damp beauty sponge. For my foundation I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. This is pretty full coverage foundation and it is also long lasting. Again I'm just blending everything out. Now for concealing and highlighting I'm using the same Wet n Wild concealer and I'm just applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadow, bridge of my nose, center of my forehead, cupid bow chin and sides of my mouth I'm also applying it just under where I'm going to place my contour next again I'm just blending it out with the same beauty sponge I'm already loving this concealer it is really easy to blend I always blend my under eye concealer later this way it gets some time to settle and it gives better coverage now for setting my face, I'm using this Oriflame Translucent Loose Powder and with the same beauty sponge, I'm just applying it wherever I applied that concealer. It ensures that nothing is creasing. Now with a fluffier powder brush, I'm just slightly setting my face. Now I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast and I'm just contouring my face with it. The hollows of my cheekbone, my forehead. jawline to hide all those double chins under my lower lips and I'm also going to contour my nose again I'm blending it out with the same beauty sponge this concealer tends to settle down pretty quickly 
so blend it as soon as possible. Now I'm using the contour shade from my Maybelline Master Contour Palette and I'm just going to set my contour and it was hell pigmented so I just blend it out with my beauty sponge. I'm just setting my contoured areas with this. Now with a smaller eyeshadow brush, I'm setting my nose contour. I'm just blending everything out so that there is no harsh line. I'm taking the blush from the same palette and I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm just blending it out with my contour. Now I'm using the highlighting shade from the same palette and I'm just applying it on the highest points of my cheeks. Chin, Cupid bow, nose and center of my forehead. This is a very very subtle highlighter. So you have to build it up really well. Now I'm using this matte brown shade from my Makeup Revolution Visionary Palette and I'm just applying it at my as my transition shade. And I'm just slowly building up the pigmentation. Now from the same palette I'm using this purple bright purple shade and with, with a pencil brush I'm just applying it on my outer V area and inner corners. And I'm just connecting it through my crease. I'm just slowly building up the pigmentation and from the same palette I'm using this deep violet color and uh, with a fluffier brush I'm just intensifying the purple color and again I'm just connecting it through the crease area Now with a blending brush, I'm just blending everything out so there is no harsh edge. Now I'm using this color right here and with my finger, I'm just applying it on the center of my eyelid. This appears to be white in pan but when you take it out it is a very nice champagne gold color and it's really really pretty now I'm just blending everything out again now I'm applying the violet color with a pencil brush under my lower lash line to make everything look put together. Now I'm using this Essence Kajal pencil and I'm just applying it on my waterline and I'm also going to tight line with it. Now with a q-tip I'm just smudging everything out to make it look smoky. Now I'm applying the same 
champagne gold color with a smaller brush on my inner corners and one third area of my lower lash line I'm also highlighting my brow bones with the same shade now I'm using this Maybelline color cell mascara and I'm going to coat my upper and lower lashes I'm using this Maybelline gel eyeliner and I'm just going to create a thick but small wing with it Eye makeup is almost done now I'm using this Rimmel lip liner and I'm just going to line my lips and fill it up now I'm applying this wet and wild cat suit liquid lipstick in the shade give me mocha I'm setting my face using this elf makeup setting spray and I'm just bouncing my beauty blender to make everything look seamless so here is the final look I quickly applied some false eyelashes these are back eyelashes and some jewelry and I also added those dots to give this look those Dandia vibes. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you have any video requests, then feel free to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to make it for you. And if you liked this video, then give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram facebook and twitter all the links will be given in the description bar below so please check that out so see you in my next video till then bye and take care